Good morning, you guys. Um, I wanted to take you guys on the walk with me today because there's a house down the road from me um, that is completely abandoned now. And it has been for, I don't know, a year or two, a year and a half maybe. Um, there's quite a story with this house and I think it would be, well, it used to be completely fabulous and there's acres and acres here. I dry, I walk by this every day and nobody has done anything with it. It keeps getting worse. And I think it would be the perfect homestead for someone. This was uh, where the horse stalls are. It's like a nice big horse barn and then there's another horse like an indoor arena over there. And then the little workshop is over here. There's two ponds on this property. I mean, it's like the perfect homestead. Perfect. Um, let me see if I can get in the little workshop again still. It's hard to get in here. Obviously, I know my way around because I've been in here before. Don't tell anyone. Very spooky in here. Could be anything in here. Ooh, scary. Some people can't see potential in places like this, but I see so much potential. <coughs> I just see... You know, cool. I could do my little workshop in here. It could be so cool. Oh, I just went through cobwebs. <laughs> um, there was a man here years ago that had this place. Everybody tells me that he had it looking like like it originally looked in like 1900 or whatever when the place was built and then these people moved in later and it still looked nice they had it nice they had horse they they kept horses here and um, you know just tragedy happened um, she left they had two kids I think she left and the little garden statue. Oh my gosh, there's just stuff from people's lives here. It's so sad. Um, so the wife left the husband. And the husband was still here, living by himself, because the kids wouldn't talk to him, whatever. He had, he had some issues. Drug problems and... Um, issues in general, I believe. Um, I didn't know the wife, I just ended up knowing the husband because he was still here. And um, he ended up turning this place into Section 8 housing. Um, it was just bizarre. He ripped, I mean he just ruined the house putting up walls and just doing whatever. Um, putting up a door where there wasn't a door before. And he ruined the house. I mean, it's really bad now. But I can see potential here. I could see a lot here. There's just beautiful gardens here. Well, it used to be. Um, everything's totally overgrown now, and I don't know, there's holes in everything. He's just really done 
terrible things to this property. Um, so eventually he ended up um, losing the house. He, I think this whole Section 8 housing thing was to try to keep the house. He ended up losing it anyways. So, look at the cherries. So, let me not try to get bit by anything in here. <laughs> this is so pretty here. There's stairs over there going up. And then there's stairs going up to the back of the house. The view back here is spectacular. Look at that view. Oh. There's something about abandoned houses that have always... It's just always been one of those things. My, um... My family... <laughs> there's a little pond in here. You can see that. My family was always one for going for... Sunday drives, or even just weekend drives. There's roses. And we would find abandoned houses. And, of course, we would go into them, or, you know, try to, anyway, or just walk the property. See, in. You can see anything in there. So, look at this view. Isn't this beautiful? There's roses down there. And those are really good, smelly roses, too. Um, so, this was just something that we always did. So, this is kind of. This is one of my fun things that I love doing. You know, we would pack a lunch and we would just have so much fun. Oh my goodness, someone took the door off. Well, that's scary. That's different from the last time I was here because the door was there before. It was on. Somebody took it off its hinges. That's really scary to me. This is not what, that was not like that before. I don't know what the deal is with this over here. But couldn't this be a cute little place? So quiet. There's apple trees over there. Oh, it looks like more cherry trees, too. I could just see this. Oh my gosh, there's so good, so much potential here. The bank owns it now. And they haven't done a thing to help the situation at all. That's very sad. Very sad. Oh my gosh, is that mulberries? Does anybody know? It looks like mulberries to me. I'm going to have to take some cuttings later. Fun, fun, fun! Up until about winter time, they still had horses boarded here. <clears throat> the fossils. I don't know who was boarding the house, but or boarding the horses, but they were still here. And there was a rooster that someone abandoned living in the barn. It was just cool. And of course, I would come down here and walk. Is that a picture right there of con the country life right there? That's fabulous. With this tire swing. Oh my gosh. 
This makes me sad for this place. I want to fix it. I'm going to go into the stalls now so you can kind of see. <laughs> it's a little scary because nobody knows I'm here. I mean, Mike knows I'm walking, but he knows I go down here, but I don't think he knows I'm in here right now. Oh, I just heard a noise in there. That was a little creepy. Oh, it's just the barn swallows. You see the barn swallow coming at me? Here you go! <laughs> Hi, little barn swallow. Oh, they're so cute. Sorry, the camera was shaking like crazy. Okay, the haunted barns, or the horse stalls. Ooh. Is this a, f this is fun, isn't it? I don't know why I think it's fun. And, ooh! Hi, Fine Swallow! Hi! I'm not gonna hurt your baby. <laughs> Funny. The names were Jewel. The names were p placed on the horse's things. Look at that. That scary haunt. I mean, that looks like that looks like it was done on purpose. Doesn't it? Like haunted. Oh my gosh, this would make a haunted, a cool haunted place for Halloween. <laughs> I'm disturbed. Sorry. Oh, look at that one. Can you guys see that? Um, let me try to get it better. Light. I don't know if you can see that. The web, the Charlotte's web. Charlotte's web. So cool. Oh, the, the roof is. Oh, that's a shame. Once the roof is gone, pretty much. Look at this. <laughs> Hilarious. And in there is like a little office thing. And then it's dark in there, so I don't like going in there. Hmm. Hi, little barn swallow. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's their nest. Nest is up there. Can you see that? You probably can't see any of this, but... She's in there right now. She's probably got eggs. Babies. Okay, I'm gonna just go out this door so you can see the view from out here. And that's the view from out the back door. Look at that. It's rotting, everything's rotting. Oh, it's a shame. And the barn swallows love it here. I, there was it's a little awning over here. Yeah, there it is right there. And I could see all the barn swallows going in and out of there last week I, when I was here. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, there's they're all around me. Look at oh my gosh, they're so oh I love barn swallows. They're such cute little things. Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt your babies, don't worry. Oh <laughs> did you see that? Hmm. Okay, I will go because I don't want to hurt them. I want them to have lots of babies. So, 
me walk out of here. Okay, I'll, I'm going to turn this off now. Okay, so now that I'm outside, those poor little barn swallows were so upset that I was in there. I'm, I'm sure they have babies and they just, you know how birds are. The other day I was walking down the tracks, there's railroad tracks out here, and I made the mistake of going down really far and there was a hawk's nest down where I was walking and I had to turn around. I was almost to the road and I had to turn around and go all the way back home. It was a little scary because they were, you know, coming at me. <laughs> that was a scary, scary thing to have a hawk. Well, there was three hawks. They were making all sorts of noise and strange things I've never heard before, so... Alright, so this is the stables. And that's the house over there. That's the little workshop we went in first. And then over here, there's a little corral. And then this, look at that play, this is huge. I just can't believe this has been abandoned this long. <coughs> <coughs> it shocks me. <coughs> Excuse me. This could be such a cool homestead for someone who has a little bit of money because it would take would take a lot of money to get this fixed up but this property is fabulous really 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 quiet There's a, um, over that way there's a pond next to the road. Then there's another pond in the way back. I just wanted to bring you and show you this fabulous place. I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> as much as I like to uh, come down here because this is my happy place down here besides my own home. But this has just got so much potential. I just feel so bad. So. Thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure you subscribe, and thank you again to all of the subscribers that... I think I'm up to 48 subscribers now, so... So fun! Alright, so I'll see you in the next couple days. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. This is the part of the property from the next road over that turns down. So there's frontage on two roads. Which is pretty amazing because there's... <coughs> they've really just started to chop up these farms so badly. 
And so now all of these farms, of course all the farms now are huge. There's no small farms anymore. So that's why you see tractors on the road all the time. Um, and I got hit by one once, turning. One turned right into me. <coughs> and it just seems like they've got to drive from property to property because these big farms, these big guys are... It's usually the... <laughs> I hate to say this, but it's it's usually the cow farmers that need these huge, massive, um, you know, pieces of property because they need to grow corn on it. Um, that's where all the property goes. They, um, they actually don't house the cows on these properties, they, um, they grow corn on them. So they have to drive from, from property to property, and all these tractors are on the roads. And they also will buy off old farms with houses and barns on them. Then they'll just appreciate these places that are beautiful and historic and, you know, old farmhouses that are nothing, there's nothing wrong with them. And then eventually they tear them down just so they can have the land. And I think it's a travesty for this area. And I don't know if it happens in other areas, but I hate it. So, that's my little little piece right there. So this property goes to up right that right up there is the train tracks. So that's all that property from that abandoned house. It's a lot of property. Don't you love our lovely cell phone tower right there? <laughs> Alright, I swear that's the end of this video. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.